Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Robel and today I'm going to take you through the setup of the Force Cut 40i. First thing we'll do is mount the air water separator. I've installed it with the bracket up. This particular bracket, uh, the holes did not line up with the back of the unit. Uh, I just put one, one screw in here and one screw in the back and that's sufficient to hold it in place. Uh, for myself, I like an alternate location. I like to take this and clock it and put it around in the front here. And uh, I just drill and put two sheet metal screws in that holds it there. And that way when I have the unit plugged into the wall, I can just attach the quick disconnect from my air compressor really easy. You'll also notice on the back of the unit we have a CNC port. And this machine is for use with a CNC plasma table. Uh, you do have to go in and use the high frequency grounding procedures for your table, but uh, this little machine works like a champ on a table. Another thing to note is the push locks. These are not plugs. These actually are push locks for the hose. And the installation of the hose is very, very simple. We'll just take it into the gas inlet. We'll install this and give it a good push. And then with the push lock, we'll just push in and pull out on the hose and it'll come back out. Push locks are rated to about 120 PSI. About the most you'll want to see putting into this unit is about 100 and that's when you're going to be cutting something super thick. For wiring your machine, it'll be a standard 220 operation. The white and blacks are both hots and the green will be your ground. It's acceptable to run this off of a 30 amp breaker, although my shop is set up with a 50 amp. This machine comes standard with the S45 torch and hooking up the torch is a snap. Take the first one and basically you'll just screw this in to where it says torch. You'll tighten that down. We'll take our pilot arc. We'll install that in the position that says pilot arc. Tighten that down. And then there is a two position switch that goes in for control. And that's it for hooking up the torch. Now for our grounding clamp, once again, Longevity supplies us with a very nice high tension copper lined ground. And that simply just plugs into the machine where it says workpiece. And you give it a twist and that tightens down. Now we have the machine wired, everything's hooked up. We'll go to the on switch, we'll turn this on. We have 60 pounds dialed in for pressure. You pull out on the regulator. You can dial that up. Set that up with about 80. And this is just a push to set. And then your amps go anywhere from 20 to 40. And this right here is your post low. Depending on how thick of the material you're cutting is how long you want the post low to cool your consumables. We have CNC in manual mode. For the hand torch, we'll want to be in manual. We have timed and constant. We'll put that down in time. That means when you pull the trigger and when you let go of the trigger, it'll be, it'll be done. When you put it in constant, when you pull the trigger, it'll consistently be on. There's your pilot arc. And we're set up now and ready to cut. Also with this unit, we're supplied with a nice little standoff. Keep your, your tip off the, uh, the workpiece. I like to see about a quarter inch, 250 thousandths, off the thicker stuff. For some of the thinner stuff, uh, getting down to like a 63 thousandths again, you can drag the tip. Um, your consumables will not last as long if you do that. Right here we have some two by two square. That's a 188 wall. And I'm just going to leave it up on 40 and 80. 40 amps and 40 PSI. And do a little cutting. And once again, we went through that like hot butter.
Well, that concludes the setup and operation for the Force Cut 40i. What a great little unit. Uh, would be a huge asset to anybody in their little shop or home garage. Uh, for a little value price machine, uh, it's a heavy hitter. Thank you for watching Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'll catch you here next time.